Welcome to the e-commerce coffee break. My name is Klaus Lauter and I'm an e-commerce growth advisor and business coach for businesses and brands that are using Shopify's e-commerce platform. And yes, I also like coffee. Each week you're going to get actionable advice, strategies and tips to optimize your online store and e-commerce business. So let's get started. Hey, Klaus here with another e-commerce coffee break. Today, I want to give you some tips on how to use copywriting to improve the user experience and the conversion rate on your product detail pages. So let's dive into it. Now, first of all, you want to have a descriptive product title on your product page. I see product titles that are either far too long, people try to do keyword stuffing with it, which does not work in SEO anyway, or they have a very short text there that only has some brand specific or fancy wording but does not really describe what the product is be very pragmatic with the product title just tell what the product title is or what the product is about and if it has a specific name then you can add this as well but you want to make it very clear for someone who comes to your product detail page that they immediately understand what this product is then the next line usually in your buyer's box or in your buy box would be either reviews if you have some or the price. Now the price should be standing out from the rest. So you can do that by either having a bigger font size or a different font color. I would highly to recommend to do that because usually price is one of the most important things that people want to see in the beginning because if it does not match their um, budget, they will probably bounce off very, very quickly. If you then go down on your product detail page, obviously you will come down to your call to action. And I see a lot of product detail pages that have more than one call to action in there that basically have a PayPal button or a Google Pay button or whatever. And you want to make sure that you only have one call to action there. And that should be your add to cart button. So don't try people to confuse. Just keep it simple. Have one um, add to cart button there. And then beside of having add to cart on the button, so in, in, in wording, you should also try if you can add the price and the number of items that are in the cart into the button. So that will possibly take a little bit of development work from your side. It's not particularly difficult to do so, but it will just give a little bit more information on the add to cart or on the call to action. What can people expect when they click the button? So just add the price at one item and the wording add to cart and you will be golden. And that will be just a much clearer way to inform people on what's happening next. Now we come to the big part of the product detail description. The description should be obviously good copywriting. I see a lot of stores where people do not really invest time and effort to do good copywriting there. So they just have a sentence, if at all, and usually they start with the features. You should always start with the benefit. So what's in it for me as a buyer when I purchase this product from you? So you want to start with the benefits and put a little bit of thought into how you put that together and what kind of text you will have for your benefits, because it makes a huge difference if somebody trusts your, um, your business or the product to buy it from them. They will not buy if they don't get a particular benefit out of the product and that's why you should focus always on the benefits. Obviously you want to list the features of the product. You can do that either in a shorter text or most likely it will be in, in a bullet style way. So you just list, I don't know, the size, the weight and all things that make out the features. If you're selling food products, obviously you want to list the ingredients and everything that comes with that. Now the next thing that is missing on a lot of product detail pages is a overview of the FAQs. So basically, what are the normal concerns and questions that come into the buyer's mind when they are thinking about buying your product or not? And you want to address this FAQs. So one of them is the shipping time and the shipping fees. When people decide to buy online, they want to know how quickly this will be delivered to their doorsteps and will there be any additional cost involved for the delivery. So make sure that you have some information on the shipping time, delivery time, and on the shipping fees or free shipping whatsoever. This is uh, very important to, to have that already on the product page. Next thing is what happens if I don't like the product? 
very common question from buyers and you want to address that by giving an overview a very short overview of your, your return policy so just make sure that you address how can people return or exchange the product if they don't like that if you have any guarantees on your product then obviously you want to list these as well if you have any kind of certifications on the product you want to list this as well so everything that builds up trust and that answers the questions that your buyers might have should be in the FAQ section of your product page. So once you have addressed all of these concerns and um, reading your customer replies in your customer support system will help with the most common question, you are a huge step ahead of your competitors. Next thing in regards of copywriting, make it easy for your customer to read the text. So don't create a wall of text. Use white space and paragraphs to structure the text and make it easy for them to read. It's always more difficult to read on a uh, mobile device, for instance, because it might be very small. So you want to make sure that the font size is big enough, that the font has a, a very contrasting color to the background and that it is sort of um, structured and easy to read. Two final tips here. Obviously, you want to have reviews, customer reviews, testimonials on every product page. If you have a brand new product that doesn't have any reviews, there is ways around that. That's something that I teach my coaching clients on how to do that. But you need to have reviews to build up trust for your product. No one wants to be the first one to buy this product from you. And final thing that I see a lot is that Product pages have social sharing buttons, so share on Facebook, on Pinterest, on Twitter, and so on and so forth. Get rid of these. It pretty much never happens that somebody who has not bought from you yet is going to share this product with their friends or their family. And you also don't want to have people dropping off your page and being distracted. Once you have them on the product page, you want to make sure that they get all the information they need to get to the next step. And that would be the cart or the checkout page. And you don't want to distract them with any kind of social media and, and sharing interactions. So that's the overview of copywriting tips and tips overall that you can put into your product page to increase your conversion rate and to make it easier for your customer to use your site. Hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, as always, leave a comment or message me and I'm happy to help. Hey Klaus here. If you're a Shopify store owner and you're feeling stuck, overwhelmed and not sure what to do next to grow your business, you struggle to convert traffic into sales or turn website visitors into buyers and you want to like have direct access to a mentor who can assist you with your store strategy, offer marketing, sales and anything else you need, then I would like to invite you to apply for my Get Conversions program where I show you how to remove the guesswork out of growing your Shopify business and create clarity to optimize your business for maximal growth and profit. It's a application only program to apply go to my website klauslauter.com to learn more and finally please do not forget to subscribe like and comment and i would be grateful if you would leave a quick honest rating and review over at apple itunes it's a huge help and allows me to reach more people with the podcast thanks in advance and until next time at the e-commerce coffee break